Welcome to Scorpio Tigers Tarot. I'm Scorpio Tiger. Welcome and welcome back. I'm here to do a reading, um, a weekend read for March the 11th for the sign of Gemini. I've already shuffled the cards. So let me just cut them and let's get into it. The overall energy for this weekend is somebody's moving from rough waters to calmer waters, okay, with the Six of Swords, okay? <clears throat> I hope everyone is doing well. Um... We are in, the, you're still in the Gemini moon. You're still in your moon. But we will be moving into the uh, Cancer moon for the weekend. In eastern United States, we will be in the Cancer moon at 7 a.m. Okay? So then we'll be moving into a, a calmer state where people want to spend more time with their families, their loved ones. Okay. So it's a pleasant, it should be a pleasant weekend. We're going to be in that Cancer Moon um, all weekend, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, okay, before we move into um, the Leo Moon. Okay. Seven of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. Someone's planning on something. Okay, we got the Page of Wands. This is creative energy. The Page of Cups, offer coming in. This is, this is a business card. And it's also, uh, did it say a marriage card? We'll worry about that when we get the clarifier. The Three of Swords in reverse is an ending of some sort. Um, Nine of Pentacles is also coming up on the, on the ending after doing all the work. It's a wish card, okay? And the Hierophant is a relationship, okay? Marriage, partnership. So let's get some clarifiers. Why is the Page of Wands here? Don't forget to hit that like button, share, and subscribe to my channel. If you like my style of reading, I greatly appreciate it. Help me grow my channel. The Page of Wands. For the, thank you. The Magician. You showed up in your own reading, Gemini. Okay, so you're manifesting. That's what you're doing this weekend. You're manifesting something. You're going to make it happen, Captain. Page of Cups. Why is that here for the Gemini Collective for this weekend? Uh oh. Okay, that's way, that's way too much. That's way too much. Okay, let's try that again. Thank you. Yeah, so there is an offer coming in. Um,. And it may be a business offer because the Page of Pentacles talks about money. Okay. Can I get another clarifier for that Page of Cups? Can I get another clarifier, please? Thank you. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're, going, you're not going to have it. Let me see what else that, that stands for there um what else that uh, page of cups represents just real quick yeah news a message meditation business fish could be lucky something's coming back from the past Okay, something's coming back from the past and they're going to give you an offer and you're going to reject it. You're going to walk away from it, Gemini. Oh. Page of Pentacles. Yeah. Yep, that message is coming in. Um, from the past, a past love, and you're going to walk away. You're going to reject them. Wow. All right, Gemini. The Three of Swords in reverse. What is this? Is this an ending for the Gemini Collective? A painful, a painful ending? Okay. That's a lot of cards. All right. Okay. 
Eight of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. An uh, offer, a message is going to be coming in about money. A new, a new uh, beginning. And you're going to walk away from it. The Five of Swords also talks about new beginnings too, doesn't it? Let's just take a look. It's going to bring some sort of change. That fool, you're going to take this new path. Um, yeah. This offer is going to come in. Oh, one second. Confusion of a third party. Call attention to your negative thinking that are hurting you or holding you back. Okay. Mental alienation, error, loss, distraction, disorder, confusion, depression. Okay, so you may be in some negative funky mood okay but you have no need to be because a message is coming in a new offer of a job it looks like to me during the weekend y'all though okay um that's going to give you a new beginning and a change of life that is great you gemini y'all got the most going on okay the nine of, nine of cups yeah, it's a new job offer coming in. It's going to give you a whole new perspective. Okay, you're almost completed um, in the spring or summer with the Empress. You almost come um, to your wish fulfillment of your new beginning because the Empress is a new beginning. How wonderful is that? So you're going to get a job offer this weekend. That is absolutely wonderful. Probably going to call you on Friday. How great is that? Why is the high from here for the Gemini Collective? What is the Two of Cups in reverse? I'm so used to seeing it in such a beautiful light. Okay, so there's a partnership here, but you're incompatible with the Two of Cups. It says rebalance the relationship or yourself. Okay, so there is there is a partnership that's here, but it's telling you to rebalance yourself. Or you lack lack harmony and balance in your life. This also means divorce and endings. But the but the hierophant, this is clarifying the hierophant, so that's not what it means. The hierophant is all about relationships and partnerships, successful relationships and partnerships. Let me just double check that real quick. Yeah. Because the hierophant is all about that's the marriage card. So the marriage is on the rocks here, what? Taurus energy. See, it all talks about commitment. Stability, tradition. Marriage, knowledge, sharing. Setting their ways. And don't rock the boat. Clarified by the Two of Cups. Let me get another card, please. For this hierophant. Why is this hierophant here for the Gemini Collective? Thank you. Okay. That is the card of balance. So that's what it's telling you. You need to rebalance yourself or, or the way, what did it say? Balance yourself, your life, or rebalance the relationship. 
So you need to rebalance your relationship with yourself or with someone else. Yeah, because this message is going to come in. The message from the past is going to come in. You're going to deny that. They're going to try to offer you this love. You're going to walk away. You're not having it. But you're going to be thinking negatively about it. But it's, it's looking like a, a business because of the Queen of Pentacles. But let me just clarify. That could be a new love coming in with the Eight of Wands. Okay, coming from a, a more steady, uh, financially stable um, um, partner, okay, with the Queen of Pentacles. She takes care of business, she's about her business, and is going to give you a new lease on life. Yeah, a new beginning. So then you get to this energy, you're like, okay, well, um, I almost got everything I wished for. My new beginning. But if you don't balance yourself, it may be saying that you're going to ruin it. If you don't balance, rebalance yourself and your relationship, you need to rebalance yourself is what I'm getting exactly. It's all about balance. Give me another one. For the, uh, yeah. Yeah, you need to go into prayer. With that four of swords. And it's going to take a couple of years. Yeah. But you're being protected. By your spirit guides. So you're going to have to balance yourself and your emotions when dealing with this new person that's coming in that's making you this offer. Be open with them so you can be victorious. Huh? Yeah, you need to be open with them about your internal battles. So you can take a new, a new uh, path in life with no more secrets. That new beginning. So you can have your abundance. Everything you wish for. Yeah. Gemini. So if somebody's coming in this weekend. It's saying you're walking away from the old uh, energy. Some new energy is coming in. You got to get out of that negative thinking. And that. You could have a union with the with the Hierophant, but you're you're you could have the marriage and the relationship that you wish for because it says you're almost to your wish fulfillment after you get the job or whatever, or or the person comes in, okay? You're getting your new beginning. But this person here, this relationship, if you don't fix that and learn how to communicate, Gemini. And balance yourself, you're gonna ruin it. That's what I get from that. Yeah, but you can have everything you want when you learn to open up and communicate. That's all this is talking about. Your internal battles, you taking a different path in life instead of doing the same thing you've always done and keep on sabotaging yourself. This is what I'm seeing in these cards. You need to go into prayer so that you can build yourself and be able to offer somebody something stable, something balanced. Okay? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Jim and I make it a great weekend on purpose, okay? Like, share, and subscribe. I will have some more readings out either Saturday night or Sunday, okay? Thank you so much for coming to my channel. You guys take care. Good luck with this. Seriously.